two days before Thanksgiving in 1997. And I said, what's going on? And then you said, I can't tell you because if I do, you'll leave me and take the children and I'll never see them again. And I said, you'd probably better tell me then because <laughs> that you can't leave it hanging like that. You can't like leave that. it like that. So that's when I told you. First thing I remember is that you, you said that, that you were in the wrong body, that you should be a man. And if it had seemed to me that I was going to lose you and I was going to lose the kids, I would have said, okay, I'm not transitioning. But you told me that we'll work it out. You know, we were walking through a territory without a map because we didn't have anybody ahead of us. And we just kind of fell out of holding hands when we were walking along the street. Spontaneous affection. Yeah. We couldn't do it comfortably anymore. A lot of it was me because it became clear that I would be perceived as gay. But at one point I realized that I didn't fall in love with a couple of body pieces. I decided this is the person. And I was still the same person. More so. More like the fun person I remembered from 30 odd years ago than before the transition. Amanda was seven at this point, and then I explained to her where this was going, and she burst into tears and threw herself onto my lap. And she says, oh, please, don't change into a man. If you have to change into anything, couldn't it be a cat? <laughs> And, and that was not a question I had prepared myself to answer. I mean, I was <laughs> kind of stunned. <laughs> Do you remember, Amanda? Oh, uh, barely. Like, I was seven. I think I was 11, right? 10, 11? 10. I was really worried about you not wanting to be my mother anymore. So it was pretty uh, intense. Did, did you guys ever feel like maybe it was your fault that something that you guys had done? You well? made that pretty dang clear that it had nothing to do with us. What were you most concerned about when you told us? Well, you know, girls learn how to be women from their mothers. Right. And um, I was terrified that I was going to totally screw oh, no. you up. And my only defense against that in my mind was to go, they'll see love and have that be what makes the relationship work. So, and this is a little scary for me to ask, were you ever prepared to not see us again? No, or that was never, ever okay. an option. I mean, though, it's just been amazing to watch you. You stuck with it. You persisted. And every year, my, my respect for you grows and grows. I love, love you. you. <laughs>